Number four on our list is one of the West's most violent men. Cherokee Bill was a killer with a hair-trigger temper and a grudge to match. His story begins with the racial conflict that was sadly part of the Old West. Sergeant George Goldsby won his freedom from slavery by joining the Union Army. He has high hopes for his little boy, called Bill, born of a woman with Cherokee blood. That hope is lost by the sound of gunfire. North Texas is rife with the Ku Klux Klan, which hates Buffalo soldiers, the black cavalrymen assigned to enforce the law. Sergeant Goldsby was last seen fleeing toward the Indian territories. His little boy, Bill, will never hear from him again. Without a father, the boy grows into a handsome con man called Cherokee Bill for his native blood. His amiable 18-year-old face masks a hair-trigger temper. A temper that explodes when he sees his girlfriend carousing with another man. Cherokee Bill will be a violent fugitive for the rest of his short life. He comes out of hiding to meet some outlaw friends who are also Native Americans to pick up the one-time payment that Uncle Sam is forcing on natives for relinquishing their lands. But someone has tipped off the authorities. The Indian territories are marshaled by native lawmen, like the posse that surrounds the shack. Cherokee is ready with his favorite classic 73 Winchester rifle, called the gun that won the West. Long guns were more effective than side irons because of their superior range and accuracy. Because Cherokee Bill kills an Indian lawman, notorious hanging judge Isaac Parker sets a reward for $1,300, dead or alive. The outlaw now has nothing to lose. He becomes a bank and train robber and kills at least five more people before he's finally captured. Cherokee Bill poses with his captors with the smile he was famous for on his handsome face. Only moments before uttering his final words, it is a good day to die. The death mantra of a Cherokee brave. <laughs> 